Hi. I was a li initially a little bit stuck on this job. Came to replace the seal on the top of the heat exchanger due to the flue integrity test failing. As you can see, the flue adapter, there's no screws holding it on top of the heat exchanger. And the last few times I've ever done this job, there always has. So I could not work out how this flue adapter came off. Spoke to Valent, they informed me it needed twisting and there's a little catch. As you can see there, that little white catch that needs pushing in. Whilst pushing that in, you need to twist the flu adapter to the right. Then it pulls off. So that was the first time I've, I've actually come across that style of flu adapter. As you can see, what a mess that seal is and all around the top of the heat exchanger. Got the hoover out. Give it a nice hoover and a little white. It looks better already. Got a new flu seal put in there. I've always found that it's always this flu seal, the one that sits on top of the heat exchanger, that's at fault when the flu integrity fails on valence. It's never been the other flu seals for me. All back together, flu integrity, hot water on full, and we're all good, and we're all safe. Thank you.